quality trained security officers and virtual officers. Today we are talking about parking lots, how to protect them. We have been getting a lot of calls uh, in the past couple weeks, uh, specifically over catalytic converter thefts, auto burglaries. People are calling saying we have on-site security, we're still having these problems, we have cameras, we have some of these measures. The parking lots are challenging because the thieves are targeting dense parking lots where they have the cover of other vehicles, people moving back and forth, they don't really stand out. They're in and out. Sometimes they're just going through looking in cars, looking for valuables. They'll smack a couple windows and be gone within a couple minutes. So they're, they're challenging to deal with. Um, and I would say the best approach is, is a layered approach of a, a, a bunch of different things. Um, we use patrol service. We have marked cars that drive through parking lots. Those work really well as a visible deterrent. Um, the downside is what happens in between patrols. Um, you can get hit again and there's not much coverage there. On-site officers can be more expensive. They can be um, effective if they're patrolling, moving around, good visible deterrent, um, somebody to give some constant attention to the parking lots uh, as an option. Again, the downside may be if it's a big parking lot, they're on one end, what happens on the other side? Are they paying attention uh, constantly? It's tough to, um, it's kind of the needle in the haystack type of thing. Cameras, a lot of times can be just providing evidence after the fact. Um, thieves will use stolen vehicles, so sometimes you get a tag and that doesn't help out. Um, and it may just be recorded evidence after the fact, but not something that's really preventing them. Another side of it is employee education. We always encourage people keep that message in front of your employees, your customers, don't leave valuables in the car. We use a, um, double-sided or carbon copied form if we have an officer that sees some valuables in a car um, parked in an unlit area something of, of that nature we leave a little note it's a great reminder um, helps people think that you know if that was a thief that saw that maybe they'd come back to a broken window and not uh, not the note on the door it's not a sticky um, type of window thing that's annoying or you can't get off. It's not a citation or anything like that. Um, if anybody wants a copy of that, let us know. Happy to give it to you. Uh, that's a no cost option that uh, is very helpful. Um, have somebody kind of walking through the parking lot looking for stuff like that and, um, and reminding people um, is a good option as well. And lastly, I'd say camera monitoring, you know, that can be a challenge because oftentimes we rely on the cameras to tell us when there's activity we want our operators to, to give their attention to. Parking lots that have uh, employees and customers come and going, it's really challenging to figure out who's good and who's bad. We, we do use um, our solar powered camera trailers, um, often even on a short term basis to help folks out that are having an increase in frequency of these events um, and some that even use them long term. The, the trailers are great visible deterrent. Um, they have the audio speaker that we can talk through if we see something suspicious that we want to deter. The cameras can be moved around. They have their own solar power, their own cellular internet. So um, it's quick to deploy and easy to move around. I would say the, the layered approach, having the cameras monitored, having um, patrol, visible deterrent, the employee education, kind of that layered approach um, is probably the best overall solution. If anybody has any questions, comments, anything we can help out on, let us know. Hope that helped.